How are we going, guys? I am Joe. Oh, and I'm Catherine. We are full-time adventure YouTubers. We've been living out of our small boat, traveling around paradise, surviving off the oceans, and we've been documenting the whole thing for you guys to watch. You can expect to see all of this on today's episode. Oh, Kenny's kicking. So make sure you stick around, guys, because there's a whole lot of videos coming right up. We're going on adventure, let's go. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning. Good morning, boys boy. <laughs> Seats are up. Get a coffee before anything happens. Oh, there's cool colours coming out of my tea bag. Smells good. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's what we're talking about, guys. That's what we're talking about. Morning coffees, man. Gotta freaking love them, eh? Some birds working out there, Catherine. There's some fish. See them out there? Right out past the boat, oh, quite a way. Yeah. Cool. You can cast that far, can't you? Whatever. Was well, that like two <laughs> kilometers or something? <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do this morning is we're actually gonna pack up camp and we're gonna go to our next destination. We're gonna pack up camp now and head off while that sea's still nice and that wind hasn't gotten up. Sounds good. It's quite nice out there at the moment, so. Massive eagle rage just there, guys, and I was bringing the boat in. You got it. I don't, I don't have enough triceps. <laughs> I don't do dips. We're in the water, guys. We're heading to our next destination. Let's go. Hey guys, Whew. nice. Nice. Oh, eagle ray, right there, look. Oh, cool. Oh, there's a small fish flying over him. Oh, a bunch of them. Yeah. Eagle ray. Land ahoy. Ah. Graceful, hey. How cool is that, guys? Eagle ray just sitting in the sand back there. Good boy. There's some rubbish to pick up. Someone's bait bag. We always do a big rubbish clean up at all the places we go. Tidy it up, pick up all the drift rubbish. You know, look after New Zealand, man. Look after what we have. Just hovering the drone over that eagle ray. How's that? Just there, if you can see that. Cruising there. Oh, he's moving now. Guys, oh, it's so nice right here. Look how clear this is. I reckon we don't have to go far, I might just put them right here somewhere. Bit of a sketchy rock just there. Take this, eh? Gonna bring the spear in. All right, guys, let's go. See you later, wild dog. You stay there. I'll come and drag that anchor out a bit further later when I go spear fishing. Oh, so clear. Whoa. There's a lot of fish just here, Catherine. I'd fully be able to spare a fish right now if I saw one that we wanted. There was a few hanging around the eagle, right? 
Yeah, there was, eh? I'll do a little practice on something. Try hit that thing on the bottom. Oh, well, it's pretty close. We should try and get some dinner with us tonight, Catherine. That'd be quite, quite a cool challenge. I'll just get that bit of wood. I <laughs> missed by miles. <laughs> this is going to be good fun, guys. I like the cape, man. Yes. Oh. Is that what sound they make, is it? Myself. So here they guys, we're going to try and get dinner with this here spear oh, later I thought, on. I thought it was a fork on a stick. <laughs> it pretty much is. <laughs> Find a spot to put the tent. We're looking at this little flat spot here on the edge of the flax. It's quite nice. What do you reckon, Kevin? I think it's uh, the spot that requires the least amount of earth moving. So yeah. we should go for that one. <laughs> I reckon too. So just here guys, this little flat bench. This looks like your nose. Whatever. <laughs> Something swimming out there guys, we can see it, I'll see, you might not be able to see it with the GoPro. I don't know what it is, it's just, just in front of my finger, you can probably see a little dark patch going around that reef. We might have to, all the fish we get, we might have to have a little bait up burly session here on the shore again and see what we can attract in on evening, it'd be pretty cool to bring a shark right into here. Should we get this tent going? Oh yeah! <laughs> Our entire camp's in there, mattresses, tent, Sleeping gear, everything. Hammock even? Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> A tent. Oh, glorious. We got the MSR Mother Hubba perched up on this little platform. Look at that. So good. We've just finished setting up camp and we are stoked with the outcome. Catherine had the great idea of putting our MSR fly up. So we've made a little base right here. We've got our chairs, we've got the table, we've got the coolers over there. Little charging platform at the back. So good thinking, Catherine. You right there, boys? <laughs> He's fully asleep. Finally, we can relax. And now we go get food. <laughs> I do want to get in the water, go for a paddle around, see what we can find. I might have a drink first, mix up an ocean blend or something, get some good stuff back in me. On these hot days, guys, in the mountains we use them a lot, so why not use them in days like this? Little concoction of BCAAs and lots of good nutrients, lots of things your body needs, and it tastes delicious, so we always like to take a few of those on the trip, so I'm going to have one right now. Keep your fluids up. Nautics by Ocean Blend. Hydration, energy, endurance. And Catherine's just pointed out the boat looks like it's a little bit shallow and nasty out there. So I'm gonna get out there and just re-anchor the boat. Right now it has swung over top of some reef and it doesn't look that good. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Man, there's a lot of fish right there, eh? Yeah. So many. Oh, there's a skink right there. Ooh. Coming towards you. Yeah. Oh! Cool. Coffee beans in mine. Where is that moving? Mm. I like this flavour. Yeah, great blast. Probably my favourite flavour too, actually. What if we're going to have kingies turn up in our bay? this evening on the higher tide. That'd be cool. If you've seen some of the later episodes, guys, you would have seen that on the evenings and early mornings, we have packs of kingfish turn up and chase all the bait fish. All the bait fish, they take shelter up in these little calm bays. And yeah, morning and evening, predator fish turn up. Quite often, we've been sitting here at camp, there's big pack attacks going on right in front of us. Maybe I'll catch one with my light setup. If you caught one on the light setup, that would be so sick. Yeah, I, I really want to catch one that's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> they still pull pretty hard, even the little fellas. We could call my brother up and see if he wants to come out and pick up the kingfish, eh? Take it home. He can paddle out here <laughs> on the kayak. <laughs> I don't know. Recently, Catherine and myself done a trip targeting big kingfish on top of the lures. We've got some footage from that day, so I might play that right now. You can have a look, but it ended up being a wicked day. Check it out. Say hi to everyone. Hi to everyone. <laughs> you ready to catch a big kingy today? Yes. How big? Um, this big. What? My lure is bigger than that. <laughs> you know what my uncle used to do? What's that? He used to like blow up his um, arm, is... like, and then like push his, push his arm up so it looked like he had huge biceps. <laughs> yeah, my dad used to do that too. <laughs> and I used to wonder how, that, how did he blow the air through his paws and his thumb to get to his biceps? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, they trick us when we're kids. So I'm going to fish with my Soltega 18,000 again and 
the Soltega C85-8 rod, which is a rod I freaking love. It's just my go-to setup, you guys know that. Well, who are you gonna run? Monty. Monty, tell us about Monty. Monty, he's big boy Lewis, and he's looking a bit beaten up because I have fished him a lot. <laughs> He's cool. So you got to fish Monty first? Yep, of course. Big Boy Lures, guys, you know that we love to run Big Boy Lures, J Wilds edition. If you're going to buy a Big Boy Lures, get yourself a Wilds model because we get a small percentage so me and Catherine can continue making these adventures. Catherine's going to be throwing her trusty Monty first up. I've got two lures I'm going to run today. I'm going to start off with the Untamed Lure and then a bit later on I'm going to put the OTL 100 gram mullet on. Those are going to be my go-to lures for today, guys. And we're going to catch a big fish on one of these lures. Which one is it going to be? Right now, pause this video, drop your comment now. What lure do you think I'm going to catch fish on, kid? Gloves on, guys. Are we out there? S. S for silly. S for silly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, silly, all right. See you later. Do you want to take this camera over? Are you ready for a magnificent first pass? Go on, then. We're watching, everyone's watching you. Oh yeah! Let's go guys, let's go. Oh, you. oh, you will soon. How fuzzy. Do you want to bring it over and show me? It's actually a bit sketchy. There's quite a few strands broken, eh? Yeah. I think that's, it must have hit the reef there. I wonder if you go retie that. Just to be safe, probably go and retie that. King is Catherine! There's, a few, there's quite a few here. I should get a bite. Where are they? A pack of them. They might not be after the the untamed lure today. Might not be on the menu. Dumb. Yeah, there was a couple of really good fish in that pack by the looks. Oh yeah? They just followed it in and sort of just stayed down deep below it. And then they dove right here and I haven't seen them since. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not this Lewis day, I don't think, guys. I think I might swap out. I might put that OTL on and see how they react on that one. These untamed lures are bloody good lures, but just wasn't its day today. OTL, see what happens. Oh, kingies, kingies! Ho, ho, ho! Here we go, guys. Here's a hook up. These guys are fired up. Where are they? These guys are fired up, Catherine. I just don't know where they're gone. Ah, oh, those fish are gone, guys. We're not getting a second shot. Normally, we get a second shot. You'll notice I... I ran the lure in really quick right at the end there because I was running out of water to swim it. So I normally like to fire them up by making it go too quick for them to grab. And then once I've fired it up, I can basically just pick the biggest fish and drop the lure right on top of them. A couple of sweeps and normally you get a hit. We're not getting that chance at the moment. I'm sort of raising the fish up. I'm getting sort of one chance of them and then we're not seeing them again, which is pretty strange. Wanna catch one, man? What's that? Oh yeah? Look at that, eh? Looks like a caterpillar. That's pretty tidy. Good Thank work. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably cast out now and catch one. I had all that time to catch one while you were tying your knot. <laughs> and now you'll cast out and catch one straight away probably. I'll be stoked for you, but at the same time I'll be like, what? <laughs> That's not fair. Suppose though, I raised a lot of fish. Had my chances. Oh, Kingy, yep. Yep, we got him. Oh. 
Oh yeah, it's a good one too, Catherine. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, me. It's a big one. Oh no, I pulled. Cold hawks, what? Bugger! Ah. That was a real good fish. Oh man. I think he didn't get me into the reef. There's a few with him. See if we can get another bite out of one of his mates. Yeah. Did you see him? It was round ass, real round. Real, real nice fish. Biggest one I've hooked up to for a while. I saw you. Like, I saw you like uh, hanging on for dear life. Yeah, that was intense. Well, they wanted the OTL, that's for sure. Sheesh. Woo. Quick, you better get casting, I reckon. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Be pretty cool, but it'd be pretty crazy. You'd have to fight it all by yourself without me helping. You won't have me going, Fall I'm open! Why, why, why? So you might be even better off. <laughs> oh, yep. You're on it, Catherine. They're on my lure. Yep, got them. Oh, oh. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I thought I saw a kingy there, eh, but it was just multiple kawai all together. Hopefully it just jumps off. Yep. Come on, little dude. Sorry about this. Oh, there we go. There we go, poor fella. Little belly flop. The bay's cranking with fish at the moment, though, eh? A lot of kingies around the islands up here. Okay. Oh, yep. What's that? Kingy? Oh, yeah. Kingy's Catherine. Yes. yes. Yep. We got him. Oh, yeah. Try to get a double, Catherine. Uh, yeah, I reckon. Oh, I've got so much drag on him. I'm not going to let him run this time. Oh man! Oh! Oh no, he's bleeding really badly. We might have to take him home, yeah. Okay, wind up, yeah, wind up. Oh guys, this fish is bleeding really badly, so he's coming home with us. I'm just gonna try to get over there. Bale's open, he's all yours. Yeah, Catherine, good landing. Oh my goodness. Oh, a big fish, but man, it's bittersweet. It looks like that rear hook has gone right down and cut some type of artery, so that fish has bled out. But guys, we're going to look at the positives here. That fish is coming home. I mean, we've got a lot of family that are always asking for fish. I'm like the hopeless family member because I always let them go. So real interesting thing, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when, when a big kingfish dies, the color just zaps out of it, goes real pale, goes white. When you see that, you know it's gone. And believe it or not, after a few minutes, the color actually comes back. It goes back to normal being vibrant green and all those blues and yellows. It's, it's actually quite amazing. You can see right now, this fish has gone white. But then really soon that fish is going to look vibrant and green once again. So there's going to be a lot of meat here for the family. So you guys watching, mum, everyone, <laughs> I got you some fish finally. I know I'm hopeless, but we're going to make the most of the situation. We're going to bring a lot of fish home. So you can see that colour's really coming back now. We're going to get the lure out. That, that back single hook is right down to his gill, so. 100 gram chop from OTL, guys. Got the bite. I've actually, I was just thinking, I've had that happen once before. It was a, it was a while ago, Briggsy was here fishing with us and we had another kingy do the same thing, get hooked real deep. And unfortunately, a lot of blood came out. So we took that fish home too. All the kingy fishing I've ever done, I've only ever had that twice. So we've got kingfish for dinner for a long time ahead. So how about that? Nice fish too. That was pretty, pretty action packed day as far as kingy action goes. So I hope you enjoyed that little segment guys, that happened pretty recently. We thought we'd better show you it, otherwise that footage will go to waste. What do you reckon? I might finish this and then should we go and do something? Yes! 
Well, have you seen that water? It is blue and not scary. So I'm I'm pretty keen to go for a swim. And I'm also hungry, so maybe I'll watch you spear a fish or something. Both of us go for a snorkel. When I was anchoring the boat, there's so many little fish like right here. I had a little school of maybe 40 to 50 little trevally, like that big, tiny little trevally, just following me around. While I was anchoring the boat, they were hanging out with me. It was pretty funny. I'd turn around, there's like a cloud of tiny trevally all just following me around. I'm gonna check out the cool fishing. How cool is that? Really cool. I really like this um, eagle ray was the coolest. And a really small trevally following us around. That was really cool as well. So good, man. That was awesome. Water's so warm as well. Just gonna blow up the paddleboard now. Catherine's gonna go for a little boost over there. Wash her hair in the freshwater stream. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get the spear gun and go out and try to get us some dinner. Get some fish for this afternoon. Yeah, just try nail down something on the deck so that we don't go hungry tonight i'm thinking this evening the glass is off and when it looks really nice i'm thinking about taking the really light setup and paddling around on the paddleboard and just seeing what i can catch some pretty cool fish species out there that i reckon i'll be able to catch on tiny tiny little lures heaps going on it's gonna be a good afternoon guys so that's all we're gonna fit into this episode though guys so we'll leave it there but we're carrying on for the rest of this afternoon in the next episode thanks for watching cheers for the support as always and we'll see you guys on the next episode <music>